Shalom everyone. Welcome to Victorious Collection YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm really getting tired of asking people to do that. Um, so when I feel like telling people to um to like, share, and subscribe, I will. But I'm really getting sick and tired of telling y'all to do that. It's ridiculous. And then all the content that I be putting out, I get it. You know, everybody ain't gonna be interested unless you just talking about a topic that's messy or drama. And I'm going to digress. I'm not even going to go long on that because I got a lot to kind of briefly talk about this morning. Because it is what it is. YouTube is what it is. It's a business. It's a doggy dog world out here. Everybody for themselves. And YouTube is a business. And it's not easy. And definitely if you're not talking about the things that that's real popular, you're pretty much not going to make it on the YouTube streets. I pretty much have to pray, and if it's the most highest will for me to make an income off of YouTube, he'll allow me to. But today I'm making this video because I feel like it, because at first I was like kind of done with YouTube for a minute and just taking a break. Because I don't like the fact that I constantly keep putting this stuff out like I had went to the museum. And it was the best that I could do. Only, only one light, and it probably from my mother. The same like I always get from my mother. And it can be, that can be kind of discouraging when you get that same one like. And so it is what it is though. And it makes you want to not even bother uh, bringing content to, to the YouTube. Because that was a lot of work that I did on that, um, on that museum. And I really wanted to say a lot um, because it was a lot of racism to me in that museum. But I did point out a few things. Y'all should go check that video out. It's uh, me touring the museum. But today, um, I wanted to talk to y'all about um, how everything been going with my uh, rig that I'm in, my RV. It's funny how you in Babylon the Great. I call it uh, Babylon the Great um, America, which the whole world is Babylon the Great. The whole wicked world and system. But I'm, I'm specifically talking about America. They, America is pretty much done. I'm just waiting for the um, for their destruction because I'm looking at how they're so damn greedy and corrupt. They want to charge you for everything. You got to put insurance on everything. Um, and insurance is expensive. Inflations are constantly going up. I paid so much money for this insurance on my RV. Paid for membership and mechanical services. And I'm not even using this stuff. So today, I'm going to try to get somebody to come out here about my RV gas stove. And it getting warm in here. Because right now, like, I'm just using a portable heater. And if I didn't have this, I'd basically be in here damn cold. I still haven't even got this situation uh, straightened out. Because i just been busy. Exhausted, busy. I went to um, Shabbat service yesterday. And it was a long drive back to the RV. And man, I was just exhausted. Then yesterday, Sunday, I did my work, got back to doing my work on my online eBay business. And that that drained me. I still got, um, I have over 95 inventory. And I haven't even broke in to reverse everything back to shipping now that I moved out and sold the house. So that was exhausting. And I'm still working on that, transferring everything to shipping. So, after I did all of that, it, it just drained me yesterday. And then I did washing yesterday. And I finally got my clothes down a little bit where it's not hardly nothing in my basket. So, that was good. And then I did my cooking. And it was hard because my RV um, gas stove ain't, um, I don't know how to work it no more. And I'm not sure if it's something I'm doing wrong or it needs to be um, fixed. I'm not sure. And I still got to talk to somebody about it. And when I moved over here to this RV part, when I first went to the office, I mean, everybody was pretty, like, uh, cool or whatever. But then when I moved in, like, people are funny. When they get your money, that's it. That's it. They just start acting different and weird. And that's with anything. So I got to call the RV people. Um, about my tag, my tag and registration, because uh, I haven't heard from them either. And 
it's been a while and um, I'm not sure what's going on with my registration for my RV tag, but I got to figure that out too because my mail has not been forwarding. I'm having problems with USPS like I always have and I checked in with them. I put in another forward address. Come to find out the guy at the location that I sold my house at told me that uh, they didn't put it in until the November the 8th. So now... I'm just sitting up here waiting on them to forward everything to my P.O. box. It's not really a P.O. box, but it's like a virtual mailbox. So I got to get that straightened out. And if I don't get my uh, RV tag and um, the registration that I need and stuff for the, the title for my RV, I'm pretty much going to have to um, talk to somebody. Um, I'm going to have to talk to somebody um, in the DMV and make a complaint against the RV uh, dealership and I'm also going to have to talk to the RV dealership but when I talked to my um, realtor she told me that it takes a month she said it took her a month and for me it didn't take no month for me to get my own um, title so I don't agree with that that's not the case in all cases because most things that I have had I got the title right away because sometimes when you get it from a dealer uh, it does take some time with the car it took some time but my other car, it got right in my hand because it was a, a family member. So normally when it's like a private dealer, you'll get it right in your hand. But like if it's a, um, a dealership, then it will take a couple of weeks, but it don't take a month. I don't remember it taking a full month, but I mean, in some cases it might. So I'm going to wait it out for a month. And if I don't get my um, RV title, then I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm that's pretty much the process that I'm going to take. But, um, guys, I wanted to talk to y'all about some more things, too. Um, I got to really work on getting some land, uh, talking to some other like-minded people that's in the truth, or um, talking to other like-minded people um, in general so I can find some land that I can park my RV on uh, permanently that's a uh, full hookup with water and electricity. Because this is not going to work. This is just temporarily somewhere for me to be um, for the time being. Because it was already hard finding somewhere to have it. You know what I'm saying? And me just coming into this type of lifestyle and learning and getting acquainted. And I still got to learn how to do my waste. And people are not friendly like that. People barely help you. Everybody out for themselves. So I'm pretty much having to pray, learn on my own. And you pretty much will have to ask around and praying in hopes that somebody will help you out, which normally people will um, as you ask and open up your mouth for help. But um, I still haven't did my waste yet because it's not time to dump my waste or whatever. Um, black um, tank, the black water tank. And for those of you that already got RVs, y'all already know what I'm talking about. The green uh gray water and black water the only thing i have done that i know how to do is the porta potty um lavender packs that i brought it helps break down like toilet paper and waste which i don't use toilet paper i just pretty much um bag it up and put it in the trash can that way only thing is in there is urine and bowel movement so i haven't done that yet um the neighbor that was friendly to me basically told me how to go about doing it but until you actually do it you pretty much don't know what you're doing until you actually do it um another complaint that i have um about staying over here too is sometimes they'll um it's not all the time but sometimes your water um uh, won't turn on but i'm not complaining because i don't pay for water so that's a good thing you don't pay for water and you also get free wi-fi they wi-fi is spotty and right now i've been using their um uh, wi-fi and that's why my videos ain't been getting out as much as i want them to because their um wi-fi is horrible but i ain't complaining because i'm not paying for it and that's normally the case with wi-fi it's not gonna play good another thing that i've been um because i'm coming back here so i can have privacy because you can it, it's not really private in uh the rv park People can pretty much hear your voice outside of the rig. You can pretty much hear everything. I got to get land, guys. I got to work on getting land and a towing vehicle. And 
I'm pretty much just going to have to pray about it um, to get to that next level. I got the hard part out of the way. I sold the house successfully, and then I brought the um, RV outright. I got so many things to talk about. Guys, when I was at that RV where I brought the RV, man, um, them Pakistanians or Indians or whatever they are, I can't stand these foreign people. Man, I'm telling you, I'd be glad when the Most High deliver his people. When he said he was going to put the worst of the worst of the heathens on us, he was not lying. Like, we have to go to them for everything. They pissed me. I don't even know if I told y'all about how that went. But I was dealing with um, Mr. Lee, and he's like the best um, on there. But the reason why I didn't give him a good review, he wasn't feeling good at the time. And so, he's that picture that y'all saw on my community purse. But he, he ended up um, not following back up with me. Never heard back from him again. My realtor reached out to him, told him that I was having issues like with the RV gas stove case. They can like guide and tell me what I could be doing wrong. Didn't hear back from him. And that pissed me off because he's like the best um, that works for them. He's like more, he's my um, people, whatever. But he he did not um, keep his word like I thought he did. And like he has the best reviews. Um with this um rv um company i ain't hear back from him another thing i ain't like they kept being all in my realtor face like she the ones putting out these um thousands of dollars for this rv that i paid outright for i didn't appreciate how they kind of treated me i got into it with the uh the uh the um the son's uh father they're in business together as uh, father and son, but the um the son is the one that owns it, and the father just helps him out. I got into it with the father because he tells me, oh, we might not be able to have this, your rig cleaned up or whatever, inspected and all of this for you to have by the time that you actually got to get out of your house. So I'm like, okay, you want 500 to 1,000 as deposit, and I can't get it back if I, cha if I change my mind uh if you can't get get it in the time that I need it. I'm like, I'm not I'm not giving you a five hundred because it was thousand for deposit and then they ended up wanting five hundred. They end up re uh going back on it and saying we'll just get five hundred. So they um they tell me they need to get that and then tells me, yeah, and if you change your mind, we keep the whole five hundred. I said, and I'm telling you that I need it by a certain time because normally when you pay for something, you pretty much can have it right then and there. Because all the cars that I didn't had, even are anything you pay for, you normally supposed to get it right away. So I'm looking at the um at the uh, father um that's in a partnership with his son. And I'm like, I said, yeah, um, I'm going to have to have this in writing. I can't go by your word, um, by your word. He was like, yeah, my word is good. And um, yeah, you are offending me. I said, I was saying in my head, you offended me by not wanting to put this in writing, what you're saying to me. That way, um, I know before I even give you 500 that I will get my 500 back. I'm not taking your word for it. I need this in black and white. I need this in writing. And that's with anything. If something goes wrong, I have proof and I can take that document and I can take it to the court if something goes wrong or I get thousands of dollars I'm out of. So he did, um, he was like, yeah, we just won't do business since you um, can't take my word for it. I was like, oh, that's fine. We won't do business. That's when Mr. Lee runs behind me, my people. He's my um people, whatever. He runs behind me talking about um um I'm gonna talk to him. I said, I don't want um I don't want to do business with them in, at all. But him and my realtor just kept um pushing the issue and was like, no, nah, we gonna talk. We gonna uh, I'm gonna talk to him. So he comes back to me, he's like, Okay, we're gonna uh, write it up. So my realtor gives them five hundred um rights off a check for five hundred. I went finna get ass shit. You got the right one. I don't care. She wrote them a $500 um, check or whatever, and they um, wrote me. I said, don't give them that money until they um, write me the, the stuff in black and white. She said, yeah, it's going to be uh, voided. They not um, going to do nothing. I said, of course they not going to do nothing if I come back because I'm actually giving them the money for the uh, RV. So you still giving them what they want. They need to give me that um, paper that I asked them for. So they ended up giving me the paper, and um, it was written up 
saying that, you know what I'm saying, that they will give me my money back if they don't do their part in getting me the rig in the time frame that I need it. Anyways, guys, it was just a big ass nightmare and they was all up in her face like she the one putting out this money when I'm the one putting out the money. So, yeah, they don't get no good review for me. That's why I just put it on my um on my YouTube channel, but I was not finna give um Mr. Lee. He was the best out of all of them. My people, he was he did help me, but I didn't like how he was like, "Oh, she just don't know how to articulate her words." Um, first of all, I'm a very intelligent woman. I definitely know how to art articulate my words. I'm very intelligent. And second and third of all, um, I don't need to validate nothing to um to no damn foreigners. They can all y'all can all kiss my Israelite ass. And um, that's why I'm not giving him uh Mr. Lee no re uh no review. I damn sure ain't. That pissed me off how the way they acted. They didn't um he didn't follow back up with me. He didn't um respond back to my realtor about the um issues at hand that I'm having with this RV. And I ain't even had this RV or owned it long enough. So guys, this is like 15 minutes long, but I had I just had a lot to say. I just had a lot to say today. And another thing too that I don't like about staying over here in this RV. I don't, I'm not trying to complain either. I'm thankful that I have somewhere to stay. But at the same time, this play, this world, America is, the whole world is wicked. But America specifically, United States, the snakes of America, they are so greedy and corrupt. All this land, all this space out here, and they can't even give my people reparations, which we don't want reparations from them anyway, because the Bible said that the most high will make it right. If he don't make it right, nobody else will. He's the one that we want to give us um, what is due to us. We want the world and ownership of the world. We don't want they funky ass reparations. Because it ain't going to be good anyway. But my thing is, they got all of this land. And they won't even, um, you know, give it to people. Not saying you just get anything for nothing, but they got all this land and they just want to pack everybody up on top of one another. That's the shit I don't like. And I notice in these little RV parts, they be tiny and we all up on each other, just like it was when I sold my house. It's no different. It's not like I'm regretting that I sold my house because I ain't. At my house, it was the same way. You step out, you right up on your neighbor. I need some fucking space. I need some um some damn space or whatever. I need land so when I step out, I got privacy. I step out right here with all my hookups at. I'm right next door to my neighbor. I'm I'm all up and he's back now, which both of my neighbors there in the military and truck drivers. So they normally don't be here. But I think the person that's the truck driver, he's here. So it, it just it's cluttered, man. It just I feel like I'm fucking tight and I don't like that shit. And I really gotta keep praying that I can find land. Because I don't like this. I'm too tied up on each other. When you walk out, I got um the RV um lady that work at the thing. She uh walks the military guys' dogs. So she don't come she comes up every time to walk them. But certain days she have them, I think, over there with, with her because I barely see her. But it's just too tight up in here. I got to pray and um hope that I can move or whatever and maybe get um a U-Haul towing so I can move my um RV because I don't have a towing vehicle to move it. So I got to work on all of this stuff. So I got to pray to the most high again. You pray all the time, you never stop praying, but I got to pray to him again for the next steps cuz I need a towing vehicle and I need land because this shit ain't going to work, man. It's too tight up in here. You barely got room. And then when I was moving in, um my realtor husband um, help me and they was here helping me get my stuff in here and this white guy that was moving from the RV tells us about the different people like snitching that it's a lady that lives in the back of me that she watches you and watches everything and goes back and snitches and tells which that's anywhere and um, I was like mm, okay I'm gonna keep that in mind and this is lady with this big ass huge white dog Y'all know how them Edomites is with they dogs, man. And she just looking at me, never spoke. These people are not friendly over here at all. That's why I don't even, I barely asked for help. It was like one guy that um was very friendly and he's leaving, going to Florida, him and his wife. 
Um, so they're leaving and going to Florida. And he is the one that kind of helped me with keeping my electrolyte on, telling me how to do my water. Because I didn't even have water flowing through here. So, yeah, these people are not friendly. Like, they came off, like, when I was in the office. They don't check in. You know, they don't try to see if I'm okay, if I need anything. I'm on my own, pretty much. I'm on my own. And the it's mainly Edomites over here. I'm surrounded by, like, nothing but Caucasians. And they're funny acting. They don't speak. They don't say nothing. Um, and I don't say nothing either. <laughs> I'm staying to myself. I don't say nothing either to your, to your ass. And when I be walking out, the guy, the white guy that was telling me that she goes back and tell everything, I believe that's her. She has a big, huge white dog. I don't know if she a transgender, if she's a male or a female. I can't tell because she looks kind of weird. Like she could be a man or a, like a transgender. You don't know no more. Anyway, she walks out. She just looks. And this is her second or third time of me seeing her just stares real quickly and then looks off and her dog always stares at me and I stare back and I don't say nothing else I said these people be funny at me man and it's so tight up in here like you of course you got space like when you walk out but you just right up on each other I, I'm just getting tired of living like this and the only way I'm gonna find relief is when the most high deliver his people that's keeping the law statutes commandments that's the only way I'm going to get peace, man. I got to just be delivered from this um, damn Babylon the Great. I'm tired of this place, man. Just tired of this place. It's just too much going on over here. And today I got to um, get out because I sold like one item on my eBay. So I got to get that shipped out. I got to put out more money buying ink. I'm out of ink and that ink be expensive for your printer. So I'm just tired, man. I didn't blew through all my proceeds, buying this rig, buying the things that I need. My car still got to get a uh, still check engine light on. Don't know what the other issue is on it. Um, I'm pretty much just out of money. So I, I um, yeah. Anyways, guys, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'm out.